Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we are checking out TOP SECRET! So you can't say it TOP SECRET because there's an exclamation mark at the end so you have to say TOP SECRET every time you say the title. I'm pretty excited for this movie today. I actually watched a parody movie about two weeks ago with Charlie Sheen. It was called Hot Shots. I thought it was a decent movie but not my favorite parody movie out there but I thought I would give it another shot today, the parody genre, another chance to shine today with TOP SECRET! I'm in my house today and not in my dorm which means no lighting unfortunately at the moment but there is my puppy so hopefully that makes up for it if you haven't met her before her name is Huxley and she's very excited for top secret today and before we get into this reaction if you'd like to check out more of my videos you can head over to my patreon I've uncut reactions to many of the movies I watch on YouTube as well as early access reactions to my movies that come out one week early thank you so much for checking out let's get back to the video okay I'm pretty excited for this and no Val Kilmer is in this movie which is really awesome so I hope you enjoy my reaction to top secret Must be a secret agent parody. Maybe a James Bond parody in there as well. Oh! Oh my god, he's so strong! <laughs> the best, that our actions to date have gone completely undetected. <laughs> Wait, his strap is still on his head! All systems are in readiness. Find him and guys. kill him. I like that. The Soviets have agreed to send their celebrated tenor Vladimir Biletnikov. Hmm, I love Vladimir. Stein unfortunately has had to cancel. But they are sending another performer in his place. <laughs> Just received this copy of his most recent. Who's that? Nick Rivers? I don't know who that is. As long as the attention of the world is firmly fixed on our cultural festive, no one will know what it's about. Why would the whole world be on your cultural festival? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, I love this song. <laughs> top secret, top secret, <laughs> not top secret, top secret. <laughs> Surfers with guns. Surfers with a 12 gauge. Peter Cushing. Wait, I know that name. <laughs> oh my days. <laughs> Nick Rivers, Nick Rivers, Nick Rivers. Wait, that's Val Kilmer. Is it not? Nick Rivers is Val Kilmer. The old lady! Go old lady! Oh, this is a this is a ZAZ production. Oh, written by them. Dude, Nick Rivers is larger than Stevie Wonder. And Linda Ronstadt. A table. Eine That's not how still life paintings work. Eine <laughs> Blitz. The Sibylla mit the cap in red. What do you say? I think we're at the East German checkpoint. Ah, yes, I understood that. Ist der Takt in Achsen, bitte. What does that mean? Is your daughter 18? Oh, my days. <laughs> oh, the little guy. King Emmanuel. Oh, my days. All for the dog treats. Would it be wise to keep to your own affairs? What if he becomes a secret agent? Michael Baum and my good warden list. What the hell did you say to him? Nothing. I just told him I'd put his name on the Montgomery Ward mailing list. What? Why? I don't think I'd want my name on the mailing list too. I don't think that's a pretty big reaction to have. I wonder if they're actually speaking German in this movie or if it's all fake German. Wait! The station moved! The station moved! What? Yeah, Bergen. I want a schnauzer with my Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> like, I bet all the jokes in German are pretty funny too. The Olympischen Mannschaft from Ostdeutschland. Oh my days. Yes, those are all women. 
That's like when, uh, what was it? I think there was a team in Africa, a football team in Africa, that for they had men on the women's team or something like that. Over these party tricks, souvenirs. <laughs> this guy's definitely not a spy. No, any good white basketball players? <laughs> there are no good white basketball players. <laughs> Most popular items. Oh, God. Haha, <laughs> get wrecked. <laughs> Good. <laughs> we do not. <laughs> I love the turn to seriousness. Here, here, try this. This will make you very popular at social. Oh God! Stop using. Oh my days. Up your funny dog poo. What? Funny dog poo. Oh. Souvenirs. Oh, did you pick it up? Oh. Is the end the answer ceremony? Also, if you're a secret agent, don't wear a trench coat. That's just common logic, I feel, right? Because if you see someone in a trench coat, you think secret agent. <laughs> what an anthem. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful anthem, man. No, oh, okay. I thought he'd already been cubed. It still amazes me to this day that parody movies in like the 70s, 80s, and 90s actually had giant budgets or big budgets. Parody movies today are the cheapest schlock you'll ever see in your life. We wish to afford him every courtesy. But of course, my general. Perhaps Comrade Belevnikov will be persuaded to sing for us this evening. No, I can't sing. Nick, I'm sorry I won't be able to- It's actually amazing to me that Val Kilmer is in this movie. I love Val Kilmer. Don't forget, you have to be at the theater at 8.30. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Quickly. Oh no! Oh no, not the games guy! How's he gonna sell his fake cigars? <laughs> Publisher's clearing house. All the spies in this movie are wearing things that just make them look so out of place, like spies. It's great. Your ripple blanc, sir. That looks like the cheapest one you'll ever see in your entire life. Oh my god. It's like steaming piss. Oh my god, it's like acid. The guy is still looking at them. Oh, really? But he was one of the lucky ones. He managed to escape in a balloon during the Jimmy Carter president. <laughs> That's funny. Harry Tyler Moore show. It just seems like the young people of America take their freedom for granted. Now, wait a minute. I don't think... Too many other TV shows. But still, you don't know what it's like to have to fight for it. I guess in East Germany you would know, huh? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I really don't know any German. That's all right. I know a little German. He's sitting over there. A little German? Oh, that's brilliant. I need a German person to actually tell me if this is real German. Anything's fine. I'll take the hog balls, please. That's an unusual name. It's a German name. It means she whose bosoms defy gravity. <laughs> First, then a little while later you have to reach in there for your lipstick or something and your hand gushes into it and okay, okay i understand that golden voice is there something wrong and personality. i was afraid something like this uh he's not talking about you but perhaps we could persuade him to sing for us uh, shall we uh, it's not about nick Oh my god, look at him walking off stage! Hey, watch you change in the same course. Someone is about to get shot after this. Okay, Val! Wait, this is so epic! Look at him move! Look at his legs! Oh, look at him walk! Oh, that'd be so much fun. These players have never had so much fun in their lives. 
The chefs, okay. Ah, his foot is on the piano. That's how you know it's good. Oh, that's how you know it's good. The grandma is snapping out of time. That was so epic. He's changed. He's changed. Val Kilmer's song, Nick's song, is the reason the Berlin Wall collapsed. What the heck? You know, like a like a gonk droid from Star Wars. Gonk droid in real life, right here. But I must. He'll be tortured. All right, but be very careful at the ballet. He was so easily convinced. Uh, let me try. Oh, he's like I could just sit here a while. <laughs> <laughs> the imagery, man, so good. Ah. Uh. Oh, lady, you do not need binoculars to see those massive 50 inches. You could probably sit on those like a chair. Oh, they're stepping on them like steps. That's good. <laughs> His face. <laughs> that was the best joke so far. Looks like they did some stuff to you. What if that's how many minutes he's been here? Boy, am I glad to see you. I've been here 20 minutes. Yes, I knew it. I even talked to the UN ambassador. It's no use. I just can't bring my wife to orgasm. <laughs> what? The anal intruder. Oh, well. What the heck? No lo contendere habeas corpus ricturus ipso facto. It sounds like they're just saying generic Latin. Nauseam. Amen. What? Yeah. It is the hospital, my general. Oh, is he dead? Well, let me know if there's any change in his condition. Oh, he's alive. He's dead. Oh my god! Let me know if there's any change, which is gonna come back a zombie. Bruno is almost blind, has to operate wholly by touch. Blind Bruno. Evidently, your friend did not realize that here in East Germany we use 220 volt current. Oh no. Impaled upon a large electrical device. Oh no. But it took them two hours just to get the smile off his face. Oh, at least he died happy. What's the New York? Oh. Do you know which room the final chemistry exam is in? All the exams are over. Oh no. Class. I actually had this dream a few days ago, like a, I missed a final exam dream and I woke up and it's like, oh, it's summer. But I was so scared when I woke up for about 10 seconds. I can't believe I'm back in school. Thank God. <laughs> this is better than school. We cannot risk violating the Geneva Convention. You break him tomorrow. Wait, his feet! His feet! I didn't even notice! They just let him have a crowbar? That... Oh, okay. <laughs> it was a U-turn and like the woman's picture kind of looks like a U. A U-turn. Get it? Kind of? That's kind of funny. You made it out. It was close to perfecting. The first magnetic desalinization process. That looks so familiar to me. Do you realize what that could mean to the starving nations of the Earth? Wow. They'd have enough salt to last forever. <laughs> yes. But they are holding my daughter. They'll kill her unless I complete the Polaris mine by... Wow, nice calendar. No! <laughs> Sub's like, what's up? <laughs> It's not your fault, guy. It's okay. Call him at once. Yeah, my gonna... Oh, there's no way. Someone answer the phone. Oh, no. Oh, 
Okay, he made it. He made it. Welcome, Neek. Whoa, I would scream for that one. That I just met a girl like you. you. Me? Me? To see you standing there would be my only prayer. Dude, these women are having strokes. That's how into this they are. They are melting into their seats like ice cream in the sun. Spend this night with me. And she is living the dream. In heaven we would be. <laughs> the way he's just holding her. Always be a love that's <laughs> <You said not. laughs> She is out. Oh, it's just no use. <laughs> I'm begging you. No, what the heck? I can't face They're like, no. You. No, Nick, no. <laughs> I gotta have you with me. I'm in such a complete anguish without you. <laughs> Baby, please spend this night. Honestly, give some props to these background singers. Wow. What a way to avoid this. They were gonna execute him right after this show. Can you imagine? You stop singing and they just get shot in the face. The owner is a member of the resistance. If we can find resistance. Him... Wait a minute. Don't you think it's about time you told me what this is all about? Yeah, it is actually. I've been trying to find him ever since. Oh, well, we saw him. See how creative you need to be for a parody movie though? Like you need a genius mind to make a good one. That's kind of scared me a little bit. There's no way his eye is actually that big. They're speaking backwards. That feels so cool. Wait, is everything in reverse? Wait, is this whole scene filmed in reverse? There's no way. It is. That whole scene was filmed in reverse. Wait, that's cool. Wow. Fortunately, the ocean. It's a like castaway. Them to bamboo with dried seaweed and snot. And this snot. not only provided us with a safe haven from the rain. They made a garage and everything. Endless Santa Ana winds, which would. And a little car. What's gonna happen to this guy? What the heck? There's so many feet. Then one day he went fishing. And never came back. That was the last I ever saw of Nigel. God, what a loser, Nigel, man. I'll never forget my feeling of relief. You can't imagine what it's like to be separated from your family. At Actually, I can. When I was about six years old, my mama took me on a trip to the city. Some people from the cosmetics department fed me a bowl of soup and some bread. The days stretched into weeks. <laughs> During the semi-annual Lincoln's birthday sale, and they asked me to help out in pre-team. So I said yes. He's not even playing. That's so funny. I'll run down there. It's like a lullaby. I'd fall asleep to this jingle. Your legs show your hair. I love that he's just not playing it. Shop at Macy's. And love me tonight. Shop at Macy's. Oh, Nick, I'd shop at Macy's. I don't think I've ever heard a story more tragic than Nick's. Getting lost in a Macy's from your parents and then they just abandon you. That's brutal, man. That's brutal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. I thought that was Russell Crowe for a second, I can't lie. The other day, and he's just a little horse. Get your Mario. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's cool. He's just a little horse, do you get it? Oh, that's funny. Who are you? We were sent by Sven Jorgensen. Yes, I was really hoping he would be small. Like a pirate crew or something. A cannon! 
A ladle! That's the worst one. Oh my god. It's him. Why does he look the exact same? Why is he still not wearing any clothes? Sleepless nights. Lonely hours. Hoping. She's measuring the muscles. But recently we've had reason to believe that there is a traitor. Somewhere in the res- Oh my days. Du quoi? What? Oh, ten inches? Introduce the American- Jeez! Detente. Avant-garde. And déjà vu. Déjà vu. Chocolate mousse. Mm. Ch chocolate mousse. That is the best name in the world. I'll be back in a moment, my darling. Prepare the gear for the jump. Arc de Triomphe. Arc de Triomphe. <laughs> Who'd love her who she'd last seen on a deserted island and who turned out 15 years later to be the leader of the French underground. No, that happens to everyone. I've had like three or four of those in my life. Some bad movie. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the best <laughs> that was the best thing in the world <laughs> it's not a bad movie don't worry <laughs> that was both mature and adult what the hell is this stuff gasoline <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> magic straight gasoline Hillary how wonderful that you've returned to me now when I so desperately need you by my side to fight for the cause. I swear she looks so different in the flashbacks too. I yelled and screamed, but it only seemed to excite them. They took advantage of me in ways that I cannot describe. What? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, uh, wrong place to hide there, bud. I like that they're bringing in the windows when there's open windows right there. Doing your best, man. <laughs> the big tic tac toe! Whoa, how? He's the only one who knows the inside of that prison. It seems that you have become, how do you say, indispensable? Indispensable. <laughs> seems as long as I know my way around that prison, I'll never be lonely. Nick, I Look at the spaghetti. What's happening back there? Is that cheese? Fight for something more important. Like what? Do I fear again what a great cause? Oh, that's how stretchy mozzarella cheese is. This is what I want. Latrine! A traitor in a mist. Oh no! That means the traitor is someone at this very table. Who? What if it's Nigel? Oh, but you must be. Won't you sing us just one song? Oh, I I'm sorry, you, you must- Yeah, sing again, please. What do you mean? We have absolutely no proof that this man is who he claims to be. What? Sing. How do we know he's not Mel Torme? Watch this. Can 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 that person flip a coin? No, I didn't think so. I could watch a whole movie of Val Kilmer dancing and singing. Okay. You gotta straighten me up. I like the use of rugs actually. This looks like so much fun. I wanna be dancing. Oh, spin, man, spin! Oh my god, he's actually spinning. Yeah, I'm telling you, baby, it ain't no back to Mac. You gotta... Is this song about rugs? This song is about rugs. Give it a shot! Yeah, Look at the woman shot. flying! Let me come on, let me straighten it out. And there's nobody. Woo! Oh! 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 Why do I want to keep seeing that? Oh, I don't know what's right any longer. I only wish I didn't love you so much. Oh, Staff Crackle and Pop. Yep, there's a fire. Yep, that's actually the most important member of the team, that fireplace. <laughs> Fair. 
up this road towards the prison for their morning milking. Ducroix and I will merge with the herd here. What, and pretend to be cows or something? Truck by the railway crossing and pick us up back here. Then we'll drive to the landing field where the plane will be- This is the coolest little model of all time. They're actually gonna dress up as a cow. Shut up and give me the back half. All right, be an asshole. Yeah, he really will be one. <laughs> now, I think we did it. That's smart. They actually got a cow to be a spy, like an actual cow. Oh God. You okay? Oh God, this guy's into some kinky stuff. <laughs> That's how leaves work. Oh god. The scare tactics, I like it. Oh my god. Hey, you know what? It worked. Oh, nice. Where do they come up with these ideas? <laughs> tag him in, tag him in. The legs. So, it is you who is a traitor. Yeah, I told you Nigel was a traitor. Oh no. Oh no. I know exactly what's about to happen. It starts with an A and ends with a NAL. Now get over there and pull that- Oh, oh god. He's gonna love that too. Really? Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, that's how she's gonna find out. But unfortunately, it's too late for you and the others. He's like a really bad Bond villain. Yes. It was a Russian ship. They told me <laughs> Why is he walking like that? The phone is so big. There's a lot of really good gags that I just don't notice until like three seconds later, you know what I mean? Because they're so like, there's not, there's not that much attention drawn to them. That was funny. Is there a joke with the Pinto being destructible? <laughs> No, again? Hours. That we recommend you be there at least 45 minutes before departure. <laughs> Time of year. Good luck. It's more like two to three hours now before departure. <laughs> the way he looked at the camera. He's actually getting punched so hard. <laughs> A chair! They're having a bar fight! It's a Wild West bar fight! <laughs> oh, nice misdirection! Goodbye! <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> He's like Aquaman. What the heck? As long as a child cries out in the night or an actor can be elected president, we must- Fair. Hillary, I want you to be with me. Interest rates fluctuate. Fair. What? Oh, is that tongue? Is that supposed to be tongue? Remember you. And I'll miss you most of all, Scarecrow. <laughs> It's like Wizard of Oz. <laughs> I reacted to that on the channel if you haven't seen that video yet. That was good. I really enjoyed that movie. I really enjoyed that. That was just so good fun. So good fun. That's English. Wait, does that say clapper clapper flipper flapper? <laughs> hey diddle diddle the cat and the fiddle. <laughs> 
A jolly good fellow. First wave, don't get tired. <laughs> this space for rent. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny actually. And that was my reaction to Top Secret, still have to say it with the exclamation point, the 1984 comedy romance parody movie sort of, I think it was just kind of parodying spy movies but it was more just so a comedy movie in general starring Val Kilmer, Lucy Gutteridge, Peter Cushing, Christopher Villiers, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that last name there, Omar Sharif and Jim Carter. As well as Michael Go. I f What's Michael Go in? I just know his face so well. Oh my god, he was Alfred, man. He was Alfred in those older Batman movies, which I reacted to on the channel. I reacted to The Wizard of Oz, which was mentioned in this movie, and I've reacted to all the Batman movies if you want to check them out on the channel, you know? I really, really enjoyed this movie a lot. It was just a lot of fun, and Val Kilmer's screen presence was just out of this world. He was great to watch. My dog also stayed for the entirety of the movie, which means that she liked it quite a bit. You probably won't be getting a review from her because she's a dog and she can't talk. But just know from me who can talk to dogs, you know, I, because I own a dog. If you own a dog, you can talk to dogs. <laughs> but just know from me, she loved this movie. And before we get into this review though, if you did like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot. Thank you so much if you do. Now let's get back to the review. So yeah, while I was watching this movie, I was kind of comparing this movie to Hot Shots. And Top Secret, or I should say Top Secret and Hot Shots are both similar movies, but very different movies in my eyes at the same time. Like Hot Shots I thought was good, but I didn't enjoy it to the same extent as I did Top Secret, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to understand why, because I feel like Hot Shots had more humor, like more jokes than Top Secret. <laughs> I think I have to stop doing that joke. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop doing that joke. I need to I need to continue it to the end of the video. So I think my issue with Hot Shots was that maybe I just wasn't familiar enough with Top Gun in general. Maybe that is the issue here. That is the underlying issue. I'm not too sure, but I thought Top Secret was absolutely amazing. It was really fun. It was really entertaining. Again, Val Kilmer was really funny in this movie. He was so charming and so funny. Lu Lucy Gutteridge as Hillary as well was really funny and a lot of the jokes landed for me quite a bit. But I think my favorite parts of the movie was actually when Val Kilmer was just singing and a lot of that didn't actually come from the comedy of it. I just enjoyed watching him dance and sing. Now, I don't know for sure if Val Kilmer actually sung during this movie or if he just lip sang and they like dubbed him over with someone else actually singing, but I thought I read somewhere that he did sing like in the credits or something. It said performed by Val Kilmer, so I'm assuming that means that he sang the songs or most of the songs as Nick. But I mean, his dancing and his charm and his screen presence and just him on screen was just so captivating to watch during those dance sequences. I loved it so much and I want to see more Val Kilmer dancing and singing and just being alive and jolly and you know he's just so much fun to watch on screen. So let's get to the reviews of this movie then I'll talk about the score even though I don't really have anything to say. Maybe I'll talk more about the sound effects but I still don't have that much to say about the sound effects to be honest with you but I'll talk a little bit about it then I'll just get into other things that I enjoyed about this movie maybe just talk about some of the jokes and stuff okay so 7.2 out of 10 on IMDb which is audience score and 76% on Rotten Tomatoes which is the critic score so audience and critics actually very similar to each other on this one not that much of a difference and I'm really glad that it seems like audiences and critics for the most part enjoy this movie again a comedy movie more so a parody movie as well it it is hard for those types of movies to get good scores just again because comedy is so subjective and while for example I may not have loved Hot Shots I'm sure a lot of people in this world love Hot Shots and so it could be the same about Top Secret as well I'm sure for example me I love Top Secret I thought this movie was so much fun but I'm sure a lot of people don't like Top Secret or don't think it's a great parody movie. So it's actually really cool to see that this, this movie has a pretty good review. Like a 7.2 is good for many, many movies. Like if I had made a movie and it got a 7.2 out of 10, I would be thrilled with that. So I think that shows that this movie at least did really well at being comedic to most of the masses that it was shown to. So I'm trying to think about what I liked about the music from this movie and I honestly can't really think of anything that I liked about the music from this movie. I'm not talking about the songs that Nick sang I'll, maybe I'll put those in this maybe because there's music as well that would make sense but the actual score of this movie I didn't notice it once 
The sound effects for this movie, I thought, I mean, they worked. There were some really fun sound effects, but for the most part, I thought the actual visual jokes and audio, like when I say audio jokes, I mean like verbal jokes, the jokes with words and stuff, the wordplay, I thought those were the funniest parts of the movies over the sound effect. Sound effect, I'm saying it like there's one sound effect, sound effects. But I mean, Nick's songs in this movie, like I said, they were some of my favorite moments. They were just contagiously fun. I had a smile on my face. I wanted to dance. They were actually written really well as well. I think my favorite one was probably the, the rug one in that diner. That was hilarious. The way he's just spinning on rugs and telling you to straighten out the rugs. And then there's women getting flung around. They're dolls. They're definitely dolls, but they're getting flung around in the background over these guys' heads. It was just fun. It was just pure fun to watch and I think that's what this movie is. It was just entertaining and fun and made me smile for most of its runtime. Yeah, and while watching this movie, I just kind of grew an even bigger appreciation. It's not just for comedy movies and parody movies in general, but also for Jim Abrams, David Zucker, and Jerry Zucker. They are legends in the comedy parody genre of film from the 80s and 90s especially. And the work that they do, it seems so stupid. And I say this in some of my parody movies review. I know I say this in the Naked Gun movie, at least the first one but the movie seems so stupid it seems like anyone and their grandma anyone and their flying horse could make a parody movie but that is not the case i have seen bad parody movies look at parody movies today for instance there's not that many good ones anymore and it's not just because parody movies in the 80s and 90s actually had a reasonable budget like this movie probably had a bigger budget than 95 percent of the comedy parody movies that are out today because those ones are just trash they are just trash that's all i can say but i have a huge appreciation especially for the zaz company i think that's how they always like they have like a, it's called like zaz or something like that you know zucker abram zucker or something but the way that they handle the comedy and the way that they insert things seemingly at random works so well in a sequence and it doesn't just feel like they're throwing things at the wall to see what sticks for instance and I know there's a lot of jokes in these movies and so you could look at them like that but the jokes seem a lot smarter than just throwing random fart jokes or poop jokes or other types of jokes at the wall and seeing what sticks like for example there's a giant pigeon statue in the background and so they have people pretending to be pigeons landing on the pigeon you know what I mean like you need creativity to think that but it also takes some planning because you're like what works well in this scene comedically and what adds more value and comedic value to this scene and so they thought people flying as pigeons would and it did it was awesome the underwater fight in the bar again what works underwater for a fight how can we have a fight underwater that is more comedic than just them punching each other in slow motion and stuff like that so they make it a, a western bar fight you know like it obviously doesn't make sense because that could never happen but it makes sense in the context of the movie the parody movie that you're watching and it's way more thought out than just silly sound effects and poop jokes and stuff like that which is the main type of humor that comes from parody movies at least now. And so yeah, I just have a lot of respect. Like I don't even know if I can think of my favorite jokes because there are some really funny jokes in this movie, but I think overall I just came out of Top Secret, or I guess Top Secret, having more respect for the parody and comedy genre, especially the ZAZ parody movies because they're just, like they're so well thought out. And that's kind of the end of my, that's kind of the end of my intellectual capacity there. That's, that's it, it is done. I have no more thoughts. Of this on this topic so yeah because my brain has just kind of run out of steam i think i'm going to end the review here so thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to these wonderful beautiful amazing people right here for supporting me and supporting my channel it really does mean a lot if there are any other parody movies i think uh it's like anxiety something high anxiety or something like that there's like a hitchcock spoof which uh, is on my radar but if there's any other zazz movies hot shots part two or part duh is on my radar as well i probably won't watch any more parody movies for a f maybe a few months just to kind of let it sit since i did two in two weeks but they are still on my radar and i still enjoy them and i really like this one so i'll probably watch more on the channel in the future anyways thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time for my next movie reaction